Good day, everyone. It's Sharon. Um, guys, I'm here because I want to share um, a tutorial on this, but mainly what I'm doing is promoting um, Raspberry Road Designs designs. And this set is, whoops, let's turn it up the right way, is called Blessed. So let's get on with it. Um, I'm actually making this one for a lady's hen's night. So, uh, yeah. All right, um, so to start off with, we obviously need some bags. Uh, I'm using six in this one. Uh, these are those that are the same bags that I used in the other mini, and they measure roughly, they're a bit over, seven inch by four and three quarters, these ones. Um, for the card flap part, which is this part here, you need six, six, five by six and a half. So six of them. And then what you'll do is you'll score at five eighths and at half an inch. Okay. Um, and that gives you the little gusset, which you will need in this one. I found um, I didn't do it in the other one and I needed it. So do a little gusset. Okay. Um, yeah, that's six of them. Uh, you will need to do these here. Uh, you will need six of these. And all I went and done was I cut the A4. I turned it that way and I went along and measured four and a quarter and just, I didn't change anything so just go along at four and a quarter okay I've kept the length because I want to do the decorative top and I need room for um, mistakes <laughs> but anyway so you need six of them and then you have the cover and the cover oh, I've got four cut out here because I want to double it up thickness but the cover measures um, front and back four and seven eighths by seven and a quarter the spine is seven and a quarter by one and a half. Okay. The hinge, which is different, and I need to show you something about the hinge. Now the hinge, and you will need three of these. Uh, so you'll start off with just just pretend that this is seven inches long, um, because it's got to be cut. So it's seven inches by one and a half you will fold it in half make sure that the open side is the part where you're going to put your measurement okay take your bag and it will be this fold bit that's down in here let me have a look see if I can get this to come up this part here is where you're going to be measuring from that's where it's all folded in Okay, so what you'll do is you will butt this up to it, okay, like so, and then you will mark. You'll make a mark. Then you will get your scissors and you will, from that mark, with the open side, cut across up to this point here. Just like so. And then what that allows you to do is to slot this in like so. And then you'll get your other bag when they're all decorated and in place. And it goes on the side like that. And then we're going to sew them in. So this is a different Look, if this is out there, please let me know. I haven't looked. I couldn't be bothered. I'm just sort of doing something different. And, yeah, I sort of did, did a little bit of this with the, um, oh, with the other our journals. And, yeah, so we're going to sew these ones, glue these to here, to this, and then we're going to sew the hinges in. Because I'd like to have that texture on the outside of the spine, the, the, the thread. Okay. So that's that. Alrighty-o. Well, I'm just going to quickly run over 
some that I've already done. And um, and as you can see, I made my layouts using these are the blessed ones, the blessed set from Raspberry Rose Designs and um, I had a ball with these again I've had lots of fun just layering and making up my own um, with all the bits and pieces that you can get um, and this is another one so this will be the little pocket area when I glue these sides down and that's just the back um, this one so they're really, really sweet. I love them. I love this one. Let me have a look at how we're going for a view. So, and this one. So I've only covered four. I started off doing four only and then I thought, nah, I think we need six. Sorry. For these, for the cards, and I'm going to get card stock and do a blank section onto the card. Um, I've done these ones. Might try and zoom down. Bits and you can see a bit. Just hang on. Shut your eyes. Okay. Might come down a little bit more. Right, I think that's going to show. Yep. Okay, now, these ones are going on to the card. And I've just made a journaling, placed a journaling card from another off Pinterest. I just placed that behind the frame and added a couple of things here. She goes that way. Um, and the same with this same thing there um, and on that one. And this is how I lay it out, sort of, I do my page. This will be, this is the big blank side, or the large side. Here is the smaller side, because you don't need to go right down in. And this is this section here. So you can play and, you know, and you get to see how everything's going to work together. So just with your layering and everything like that. Um, what else have I done? Um, and these are more of the cards of these. And that's just how I've had them laid out. Again, on the, how I work. I manoeuvre them around at the end when I'm finished. And then there's another one. Just love them. And you've seen that one. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to go back... Guys, you don't even have to use these designs or anything like that. You can do this with anything and everything. And you pretty much know the drill. And there's that many tutorials out there. So I'm just going to get to a point where... Um, uh, how can I explain it? I might share with you the tags um, and definitely the hinge when I'm putting the hinge in. Okay. So there you go. We'll wait for part two. Alrighty, bye. Oh, don't forget to go and have a look at Ro um, Raspberry Road Designs. I'll put the link below. Okay, bye. G'day, everyone. Um, it's just something I want to share with you about um, the inner cover. I had done a journal previous oh, a while ago. Uh, I think it was Rachel that asked me a question about... Um, putting the covers on the inside, how things stop moving and bulking up when you glue them. and Because we oh, many a time we get the bulk. Um, it just, you know, it, everything just doesn't want to sit properly. I'll just show you how I do mine. Now, I don't know if this is going to solve everyone's problem, but it's just what I'm finding out that works better for me. Because I'm working with thick card... Um, this is the cover to the Hens mini album. Um, this one, the Raspberry Road Designs one. Uh, so I've covered it, covered the cardboard, 
Now, um, what I've done is I've put the centerpiece in first, but I've only glued it to the spine section, as you can see. And the reason is so um, you then can lift and play. And it should, and glue down, and it should eliminate a lot. And then I go and place these on top. So these shouldn't bulk, if you know what I mean. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll give this a bash. Come off. Okay, so what I tend to do... I've already scored in here too, by the way, so it's sort of, so that sort of is how you do it. Um, as you can see, I've got the splitting, um, but this is just that art paper I've used just to cover and hold this. So I'm probably going to go and place more on the front and also something over the spine. Um, yeah, I just use this like it's first skin. It just helps to keep everything in place. Okay. Um, onto this one come off and again maybe if we score down in here first it'll get that in there There we go, that was much better. So just give it a bit of a score down in there before you actually attach that bit. And that should help get it to bend, like softening up. And that seemed to have stopped that. Wow, see, we learn as we go. Because I know, like, I can never, ever, ever. Some albums I stop it from splitting, other albums I don't. But that was just like a first up. So I didn't. I did score the cardstock lightly, but I didn't do that with the glue as I was sticking. But this side I did. So and it didn't split. So I don't know if that's going to, you know, be the problem solver there. Only time will tell. Okay. So then I go and put these, glue these in. Now um, I'm not going to worry about it now. I, I prefer to do it this way. You can do these first and this over the top. Totally up to you. But this is what works. I find works better for me. Alright. So that's the inside of the cover. Alright. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Bye. G'day everyone. It's Sharon here. Guys, I'm just here to give you a basic run on how to do your signature. Just picture this as two paper bags onto the hinge because I forgot to show it. Oh, I got over, um, overly excited. <laughs> anyway, and I went ahead and I'd done it. Um, I had to get it finished actually. So anyway, all you're doing is I recommend four, if not more, holes. Don't go three because these pages can get heavy. Um, because they're paper bags and you've got a lot on them okay so put your four holes into your spine just imagine this is all finished and then go and sew them in just like you would a, your signatures into a journal now um, Michelle from the paper addiction also Marion Kensington those two ladies and I'll put the links below those two ladies have brilliant tutorials on them I've done one but I looked back and I thought nah I'll just confuse just more <laughs> <laughs> I should do something about it but anyway um, just follow them and there are plenty of others out there and they are just brilliant all right this is quite simple this part so you just yeah sewing them in all right bless you bye